join me in welcoming President Michael Drake. Good morning. Great to see everyone here today. OH? OH! OK, almost, almost. OK, we'll, we'll work up. You'll, this is an educational institution, and so we'll learn how to do that with a little more gusto as we, we, uh, we go forward. Um, uh, only partially kidding. Uh, great to see everybody here, though, and congratulations uh, on where you are and what you're about to enter. Uh, Jakini did a great job of letting you know that the uh, university is a place with a, a multitude of opportunities for students. And what you'll be hearing about over the next a few days, next, particularly today and tomorrow, are wonderful things that you can partake, partake in and participate in while you're here at the university. You'll hear a, a lot of words. A lot of people come and tell you things, all of which are, are focused and pertinent and important, and, and they'll tend to wash by you know, into a, a lot of words. And uh, my job is to do a couple of things. First is to welcome and congratulate you. So welcome and congratulations, and uh, really, really happy to have you here. <laughs> Just in, in the welcoming part, how many um, of the people in the audience happen to be alumni of the university? If we can raise your hands. You know, there are a lot, a fair number of alumni in, in the audience, and one of the things that, one of the reasons I know that is that a great number, fair number of our students uh, are not the first Buckeye in their family. We had uh, graduation three, four weeks ago now, and we had one person who was a fourth generation Buckeye, meaning a great grandfather, or grandfather, uh, grandmother and father, whole series of people before her had been here. We also, though, at the same time had 1,700 people uh, who were graduating, not only the first from Ohio State, but the first in their family to go to college. So how many of you in the audience are the first Buckeyes in your family? So a great number are the first Buckeyes in your family. So let, can we have a, a big round of applause for that new family tradition? <laughs> I had a great, uh, uh, I was at, at the graduation week. Gra graduation week is, week is a fun time. Because people are in a good mood, you know, and sun shining. And, uh, and uh, walking on campus, uh, coming back to my office one day, I was, as students like to take pictures and things at that time, particularly at the beginning and the end, they like to, to do that. So I was walking, and a young lady wanted to take a picture. And I said, fine, you're, you're graduating. And she said, yes, I'm graduating. And a big smile. And I said, what are you going to do um, this summer? And she said, oh, um, uh, I have a job. And then she held out her hand and said, oh, and, and I'm engaged. And I said, oh, that's terrific. And she said, um, yes, my husband uh, is, a, uh, or, or my fiance is a, another student. So we're both Buckeyes. And I said, great. And then I was uh, walking away. And she yelled back, and our children are going to be Buckeyes, too. <laughs> and um, um, uh, she was actually from China and had come to this country to go to school had uh, met someone, and I loved her calling back over to me that her kids are going to be Buckeyes. We, we, wh why we like that so much is we think that it's a great reflection of the power of the experience, of the community that people join, of what it means to be a part of Buckeye Nation. And so we're pleased and proud that so many people, once they're here, uh, graduate, go on in the world, and then are excited when their children come back. And I know that will be, that's the case for many people in the audience today. And it'll be the case for many of you um, uh, uh, a few decades down the line. So really great, great thing. Something I'll say to parents and something that's uh, implicit in, in all the materials that you'll be looking at and all the people you'll be, you'll be hearing from is that we think of uh, multiple parts of helping to develop the whole person as our, our mission here. So we're very interested in academic excellence. That's how well you do in the classroom and uh, our Admissions criteria are more difficult now than they have been at any time in our history. You'll be joining the most talented class that we've ever admitted, also the most diverse class we've ever admitted, two things we uh, always try to maximize together, so very excited uh, about that. So the academic excellence of what take, takes place in the classroom, that's really important to us, and we will focus on that. We also care a lot about research excellence. We are a research-focused institution, and our faculty spend a huge amount of time doing research, and. Actually, uh, thousands of our students participate in research projects along with our faculty. So we really have, as a pillar of our excellence, uh, academic excellence, but also research excellence, which is developing answers to questions that haven't been answered before. And that's really important to us. In addition to that, we care a lot about character excellence, who you're going to be as a person. Uh, most of you are late teens-ish. 
and uh, you know, you're coming through and we'll be transitioning to go out and be adults in the world and uh, many people are here uh, for the first time or away from home for the first time, on your own for the first time. So we think a lot about character excellence and helping you to make good decisions about who you're going to be, the kind of person that you're going to be. I think that's among our, our most important, uh, most, and most, uh, among the most important things that we do is to help you develop into that person that you're going to be. And so we care a lot about character excellence. And uh, we, you'll see that we have 1,300 clubs and organizations. We have, many of you may be student athletes. We have a variety of ways that one can be involved in the university, outside the classroom, and outside the laboratory to help you develop as a person. And that's uh, extremely important to us. And finally, the fourth pillar is leadership excellence. I get the pri privilege, particularly in the summer, it happens all year, but particularly in the summer, we, we go on a thing called a state tour, where we go to different communities around Ohio, and uh, during the summer and during other parts of the year, I'm in different parts of the country or around the world. And what I'll say is that we find that there are Buckeyes in positions of leadership everywhere that we go. It's an amazing thing to see. We have now about 560,000 living alumni. It's uh, with the largest number of living alumni from any uh, single campus in the, the country. Go Bucks. Uh, uh, but it means that they're Buckeyes wherever you go, and they're doing, Buckeyes are doing great things wherever we go all around, all around the country. So if we think of uh, academic excellence, which takes place in the classroom, research excellence in our laboratories, or creative excellence that takes place on our stages, and we think of character ex excellence, who you're going to become, who you are in your community, and then leadership excellence, how you're going to make the world a better place. Those are the things that come uh, from our experience here at the university. And we're really excited to have you be a part of that. The, the advice, uh, I have been, uh, had the uh, privilege of talking to people for years at orientations, and, and then had the privilege also uh, talking to people at graduations for years. And if I think of the people just at the end, uh, when they're about to graduate, and what some of them wish they would have thought about more at orientation, let me tell you what, what I would suggest uh, to you uh, to do. So the first thing is to, to start, to be ready to start, uh, to be ready at the very beginning to get going. You, you have wonderful classmates uh, who are uh, very talented, very focused, hardworking. Uh, they're going to be ready to start, and you want to be ready to start, too. I was just talking, uh, telling a story that I'll truncate for you. Uh, when I was a teenager, I had a hobby of cycling. And I still do, actually. I still uh, ride a road this weekend. And, but I had a hobby of cycling. And I went to my first organized race when I was 12 years old. I was younger than everyone else. You had to be 12 uh, to be able to uh, be in these races. And my birthday was that month. And so I thought, great, let's go do this. And we drove a long way at the time out of town to be in a race. And the, group was started, and um, I was kind of ready. I was in my cutoff shorts and a t-shirt. They were all in you know, spandex-looking jerseys and things, and all looked like, like grown men. But um, I, I was excited to be there. And long story short, the, the gun went off, and I, uh, those days we had toe clips. Uh, anybody remember toe clips? They're, they're great. <laughs> Ta-da. Uh, but we had toe clips, and so the gun went off when I went to kind of put my sneakers into my toe clip on one side, and then my sneaker into my toe clip on the other side. And I looked up, and the peloton was gone. Uh, it was uh, gone, and actually gone forever. I haven't caught them yet. Uh, they were, uh, um, <laughs> but the people who were in the race were teed up, ready to go, locked in, tied down. And when the gun went off, they were uh, uh, pedaling. And when the gun went off for me, I was kind of finding how to get my foot, and, and then I had to try to catch them, which uh, turned out to be a fruitless effort. And a couple of reasons for that. One, they were ready and they'd left already. That was, you know, they were gone. The other is that they, in fact, were working together. You know, the Pelotons naturally work together, and I was trying to work on my own to catch up, and it doesn't work. And so just make sure that you're there at the beginning, ready to start, uh, a really important thing to do, and that will help you a lot. Second thing, really important, is that this is meant to be, I, I'm gonna use the word hard. I, you know, that's, that's, it's meant to be challenging and rewarding. So it's a little bit like mountain climbing, that you, you have to pull yourself up to get there. It's not like coasting downhill. But actually, after you do it, you get something from it. You have to put some effort in, but you get great results. And so this is, we're a real university. We're not a, not a no kidding university. And so it's meant to be challenging. You can do it, but you have to put some effort into it. From time to time, the challenges will be difficult. And there'll be other people who can help make it easier for you. And it's very smart to use those services friends, uh, advisors in the dorm, uh, people who you meet at first year experience, people in student life, 
uh, counseling services. We have uh, hundreds of people on campus whose full-time job is to make your life work better, whose full-time job is to make you more successful. And you may not find that you won't need all of them all the time. You may never need any of them. But from time to time, most of you will be able to benefit from one or another of them. Please uh, use them as your family, as your posse, uh, to help you to get along and to move forward. Be a part of that peloton and move forward as a group. And, and your time here will be more fruitful and, and more enjoyable. So I encourage you uh, to do that very, very much. And second, make sure that, or third rather, make sure that you enjoy yourself. This is meant to be uh, an enjoyable experience. And if it's getting too tough or too rough, you know, may, say, gosh, why am I, uh, they picked me on purpose, I belong here, uh, why is it not working so well? And maybe I'll turn to the other side of that. All of us have self-doubts. Anybody here who's never had self-doubt, please raise their hand. Just looking. Because if, if there's somebody here who's never had self-doubt, I want to apologize. We've made a mistake, and you need to leave. Uh, <laughs> but everybody has self-doubts. We all, particularly if we challenge ourselves, have, have self-doubts. Know that that's a normal thing, and uh, be there with it and reach out. And don't say, oh my goodness, I'm the mistake. Um, uh, this is all uh, uh, an, an internalized things that aren't working so well. Uh, realize that we picked you on purpose uh, because we know that you're going to contribute to our community. And if things are being tough, talk to somebody about it and, and allow them to help you move forward. And as I said, we have a variety of uh, organizations and opportunities to get involved. You were hearing we have 1,300 student organizations. And if you can't find something that meets an interest of yours in those 1,300 student organizations, then we'll work with you to start number 1301. Uh, uh, we really do want this to be a place that you're bonded with and in touch with and, and able to do all those things that help you to be successful. So finally, we, we start at the beginning, um, and I, I gave you a bit of a test. It's really kind of an orientation uh, test. And um, <clears throat> before I turn this over to our, um, uh, Kathy Montalto uh, from First Year Experience, who is going to uh, take you through the rest of the day, I just want to make sure that we know where we are. So I'll, and you got the lyrics right, so you were good with the lyrics. Uh, we need a little more uh, power on the, uh, a little more gusto if we can. So if I say to you, OH, you say, <laughs> fantastic. Wonderful to have you here. Congratulations. Go Bucks, and we'll see you in the fall. Great to see you. <laughs> <laughs>